if you would like to take part in the live webinar on capital programming that is commences on the coming saturday uh, the 10 30 a.m to 1 p.m we have a 20 enrollments and uh, we have very few around four enrollments remaining if you're really interested to take part you can contact the number given and uh, can enroll yourself the contents to be covered also given here on the right side all right we'll get back to the tutorial video all about comparative study of automotive protocols so we just gather the information that uh, how the automotive protocol differs example we have the can protocol lin protocol flex ray and most protocol so these four protocols how and what are the attributes it really matters all right the attributes such as the range baud rate payload physical layer cabling impedance duration of cycle network topology ISO standard operating voltage duplex mode bandwidth communication cost identifier id communication nodes that is maximum what are the, how many nodes message transfer node and finally access control so these are all the attributes and one more thing is application so application is will not comes under the attributes like where and all it will use so these are all the things that we are going to see for the multiple protocols all right let's start with this first we'll start with the range it's the first point given the range is 1 to 5 kilometers that is maximum 5 kilometers for the CAN protocol LIN is 40 meters flex ray is 10 meters most is 5 meters of course we know CAN is a uh, 40 meters but it is for the complete efficiency but of course the efficiency if you want to if you want the length to be more and the efficiency to be poor then you can go for 5 kilometers as well but of course it's not practically uh, recommendable but uh, the feature of the CAN is 5 kilometers too baud rate so can has of course we know fast and slow can so fast is 1 mpbs and slow is 500 kbps then lin is up to 20 kbps flex ray is at 10 mbps it's a 10 times faster than the fast can then most is 150 mbps payload so payload can has a 8 bytes of data lin has a 8 bytes of data flex ray is 256 bytes then most is 60 bytes then physical layer so how many physical layer it's a can has two wire that we know twisted pair wires lin has one wire then flex rays two or four wire then most has dual wire based fiber optic then cabling impedance impedance is nothing but resistance okay so in uh, in for us for easy uh, understanding in dc we used to call it as uh, resistance and ac we used to call it as uh, impedance that's it so Cabling impedance is 120 ohm for the CAN, then LIN is 1K ohm, flex ray is between 80 and 110 ohms, most is 50 ohms. Then duration of the cycle, it's a, two four, uh, it's a 240 uh, microsecond, then um, LIN is a 52 microsecond, flex ray is a 1 to 5 milliseconds, then most is a 2.7 milliseconds. Network topology, almost uh, CAN has a multi master, LIN has a single master. Then uh, flex ray is a multi drop master, star, and hybrid. These are the topology. Whereas most is a pair to pair, that is multi master. Then ISO standard can holds the place of ISO 11898. Then the LIN is yes. next is uh, LIN, which uh, holds is 189141. It's uh, ISO 17. So we have a uh, two with LIN, one is 18. 9141 then ISO 17897 then coming to this flex ray and most it's it also have a 179 uh, 17458 uh, bar 1 to 2013 this is a one ISO standard and uh, most protocol follows 74981 operating voltage that's very important the rating is 3.3 is operating only for CAN then for lean it's a 8 volt to 9 volt for flex is a differential voltage of 2 volt and most is again 3.3 as same as can protocol then duplex duplex is you know uh, it's a it's a basic communication term uh, it's a half duplex again uh, lean is a half duplex or as flex is a full duplex and most is a data stream data stream is nothing but it's a kind of uh, you know songs or video to be played so for that the bunch of data will be transmitted so there's a main difference between the can lean flex ray or most most is the is the one that uh, it will take the entire data it's a data stream as per the data it will transmit then bandwidth 
bandwidth of the CAN protocol is 125 kpbs so maximum then uh, Linux 10 kpbs flex is 10 mbps then uh, this is uh, most is 1130 mbps it's more again then communication so how the communication is so of course all are even triggered but flex ray and most has the time triggered as well they have that uh, that option as well so it will uh, accept the time triggered uh, messages also then identifier we have the can uh, 11 for the standard and 29 for the uh, extended can then uh, this coming to links a uh, 6 bits uh, flex ray is 11 bit and most is a uh, 16 bits then communication nodes maximum is in can 16 nodes can be used in lin 16 nodes whereas coming to the flex ray uh, depends on the topology we can go bus drop is 22 nodes star is 22 or 64 hybrid is again 64 then most also 64 nodes can be accommodated then message transfer type it's a asynchronous can is a synchronous protocol whereas lin is a synchronous protocol flex ray supports both synchronous as well as asynchronous most is a three it will support three synchronous asynchronous and isochronous then access control so for the can we have polling then uh, lin is a csma ca then flex ray is a tdma whereas most is a tdma and csma it's a combination of the features like a uh, flex ray and the lin protocol then at the end the final application so where what are the components these protocols has been used so it depends on all the usage and the properties uh, the uh, engineers has been classified and they are using it for the different components such as um, you know can is for the powertrain that is chassis engine abs modules then lin is for the body electronics maybe less critical mirrors power windows and other accessories then flex ray it's a bit critical high performance powertrain safety say for example active suspension adaptive cruise control and so on then coming to this most it's as i said it's a multimedia it's a transmit audio video data and control info so this is these are all the main uh comparison study of the protocol so if you check these attributes indip individually then you can get more knowledge about the uh, protocols with the respect to the automotive all right the next tutorial on pros and cons on different protocols stay tuned and uh yes uh, don't forget to subscribe and if you willing to take part in the capital live streaming that is webinar you can uh, uh, contact to the number mentioned all right so we'll get back to you in the next video